Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this episode, we will be seeing the differentiation of determinant. So in the previous videos, we already have seen how to calculate a value of a determinant. Now in this video, we will try to see how we can make the differentiation of that determinant. First, let us talk about the formula of differentiation of a determinant. As you can see here, we already have determinant here delta x is the determinant and which is given in this form. The first entry is a1x, the second one is a2x, a3 and a4. One thing to observe that each aix is a function of x. Okay. So, if this situation happens, if we get the determinant where entries are uh, some function of x, then obviously, we can find out the determinant of that particular, we can find out the differentiation of that particular determinant. Okay. Now, let us see how we can do or how we can find out the differentiation of that particular determinant. So, formula, if we write, try to write down the formula, which is ddx of del x would be the determinant. So, first we take the first row, okay. the first row is a1x, a2x, we first take the derivative of each of the entries of the first row. So, first row, the, if we take the derivative of the first row first column, it will be a1 prime x okay. and this one, the first row second column will be a2 prime x. Okay. We take the derivative of each entries of the first row and the second row will remain as it is. Okay. It will be remain unchanged. For plus the other way around, then we keep the first row unchanged and take the derivative of each entries of the second row which is a3 prime x then a4 prime x okay here prime stands for this prime a i prime x stands for d d x of a x a i x okay if we take the derivative of with respect to x then we get a i prime x so this is the formula of the derivative of the or the differentiation of determinant. First, we try to realize this formula, then we can go on the problem solving. Okay. First, let us take, let us consider the del x that we considered in the earlier slide, which is a 1 x, a 2 x, a 3 x, a 4 x. Okay. First, forget about everything. Let us try to find out the determinant. We already have seen in my previous video, it would be just the value would be a 1 x multiplied by this one that is a 4 x minus a 2 x multiplied by a 3 x. Right? So, this is how we try to find out the determinant. Okay. Okay. So, let us try to take the derivative of this function, which is obviously d d x of this value. Okay. This value is a 1 x a 4 x minus a 2 x into a 3 x. Right. Okay. So, how we take the derivative? First, this one. So, what is the formula when we take the derivative of a product of two functions? Okay. How we do that? First, we keep the first one constant and take the derivative of the second one. Okay. So, we keep the first one a 1 x constant and take the second one, take the derivative of the second one which will be a 4 prime x plus, then we take the derivative of first one which is a 1 prime x then the second one will be remain as it is which will be a 4 x. In similarly, we can take the derivative here of this one 
which is first take this one constant a 2 x into a 3 prime ok. Then we take the derivative with respect to of a 2 with respect to s x which will be a 2 prime x and then a 3 x will be constant ok. Now try to rearrange this term first one a 1 x a 4 prime x. Now first rearrange this term with this term which is minus a 2 x a 3 prime x plus now this term with this term ok which will be a 1 prime x into a 4 x minus a 2 prime x into a 3 x ok. So, ok now let us try to visualize this, this guy is nothing but the determinant of a 1 x a 2 x then a 3 prime x and a 4 prime x you can see that right. So, if I just multiply a 1 x into a 4 x a 4 prime x which will be a 1 x into a 4 prime x minus a 2 x this value into a 3 prime x then plus now this guy this value is nothing but the determinant of a 1 prime x a 2 prime x a 3 x into a 4 x ok. You can see that this is exactly the formula that we have derived here. You can see this is the formula we have derived here. So, what is the formula? First, take the first row fixed, sorry, take the derivative of each of the entries of the first row, keeping the second row fixed, that is taking the derivative of the first element, that is a 1 prime x, then a 2 prime x, and we kept the second row as fixed, then the other way around, we kept the first row as fixed then we take the derivative of each of the elements of the second row. So, this is the formula. Now, one thing to remember, we can do the same treatment for the column as well, ok. The formula will remain unchanged. So, what would be the formula? If we take the column wise derivative, so the same thing, we uh, take the derivative of the first column, each of the entries of the first column, keeping the second column constant, ok. So, a 1 prime x into a 3 prime x obviously the second column constant a 2 x time a 4 x plus now keep the first column constant which is a 1 x and a 3 x and take the derivative of the second column ok a 2 x a 2 prime x and a 4 prime x ok. So, this is the formula ok you can see that this diagonal entry remains unchanged here and here if you just try to compare here and here and here you can see only the off diagonal entry actually changes the position and then that is why the formula remains unchanged and you can obviously prove that from here also you can try to rearrange this and you can get the same thing ok. Ok, so now I guess we have realized the formula then why the formula is like this ok. Now, let us try to solve one problem on differentiation of determinant ok. Let us try to take one form one uh, problem, the problem be like this and one thing to note my friend, this formula can easily be extended for n cross n determinant ok. So, I have given the formula for 2 cross 2 determinant that can be easily be extended for n cross n. Now, let us see one uh, problem on 3 cross 3 determinant, the determinant be like 1 sorry, so the determinant be like x 1 1 1 x 1 1 1 x. So, this is the uh, determinant we have given and find out 
ddx of delta x okay now the problem is given in this way del x which is given uh, the determinant which you can see that the entries uh, few of the entries are function of x that is okay and now we are we have to find out the derivative of that particular uh, uh, derivative of that particular determinant how to do that so we know the formula for 2 cross 2 uh, determinant that can easily be extended for 3 cross 3 as well first what we do we take the derivative of each of the entries of the first row okay so first entries is x so ddx of x is 1 now ddx of 1 is 0 this is cons constant and ddx of 1 is again 0 okay and the second row this row will remain unchanged so second row will just write as it is that is 1 x 1 and 1 1 x okay plus then we keep the first row constant that is x 1 1 and take the derivative of each of the entries of the second row okay so the first entry will be 0 ddx of 1 this one will be 0 now ddx of x is 1 now ddx of 1 is 0 okay and the third row will remain as it is plus the first two row will remain as it is so it will be x 1 1 1 x 1 then 0 0 1 right the derivative of each entry is uh, with respect to x of the third row so it will be first one will be 0 ddx of 1 is 0 ddx of 1 is again 0 ddx of x is 1 okay so if i try to find out the derivative of this guy it would be x square minus 1 you can just check it out okay again if we try to find out the derivative sorry if we try to find out the determinant of this de determinant of this one it would be again x square minus 1 you can just check it okay similarly if we find out the determinant of this guy it would be again x square minus 1 okay so total the value would be 3 x square minus 3 okay okay so this is the value of the determinant okay you can see that this is the function of x so which is a function of x you can see that okay 3x square minus 3 again if without doing this way if we try to find out the determinant of this matrix so if i take the determinant right from here okay what would be the value you can just check that if we take the determinant here the value will be x cube minus 3x plus 2 you can just check that this is very easy to check i have already given the formula of determinant in my earlier videos you can just uh, go through that video once okay now if this is the value of del x we can easily find out the determinant the derivative of that determinant ddx of del x which is nothing but you can see this is this one would be 3x square derivative of ddx of uh, x cube minus 3 times ddx of x plus 0 because the constant 2 is a constant it would be 0 so it would be nothing but 3x square minus 3 times 1 which is 3x square minus 3 you can easily check that this guy and this value is exactly the same okay so this is how we can find out the derivative of a determinant I guess you have understood the uh, method if you have any doubt regarding the method you can let me know in the comment section below thank you very much